Okay. It would. All right. Sorry about all that. Uh, we didn't have our microphone on. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the things that. These, these are the fun things that. Uh, Happen for the first time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. No. Turn on this one. no. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, I see that April is ready for news and everything. Yes, April's ready for news. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, so if you guys have listened to this, uh, basically we have our podcast, which is uh, Turtle Recall, uh, which you can listen to like pretty much anywhere where you listen to podcasts. Uh, ba uh, basically, but we decided that we are going to start doing the news port live. So you guys can get it like now or like, you know, or if you don't want to hear it now, you can uh, at least, uh, you know, uh, listen to it uh, like when you, when you, uh, when you can. And uh, look, we have someone here in Danger Dog. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yes. Uh, we definitely want you guys to uh, join in on the chat. Uh, so that way when we t start talking about stuff, like, you know, we want to hear, um, <laughs> what you guys have, have to say, Anna? We already is, got a turtle. We already got a turtle. Anna's gonna like uh, read what you have to say, and we're gonna make sure we uh, respond yeah. uh, to you guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is just the news portion. Um, the actual podcast will be coming on Thursdays like normal, and this week in the podcast we're gonna be talking about turtles at the Earth, Earth core. <laughs> So it'll be really fun, but uh, let's get started with the news, honey. Oh, I'm ready. Right, you know we got the the sound effect. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the first one I want to talk about is uh, you know the the, the big one, and uh, we're going to be talking about Super Seven. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> This is more exciting because I can see the pictures. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. Yes, we got pictures for you guys. <laughs> but yeah, we were talking about Super 7 and uh, basically, oh, so uh, the website, uh, Fush, I think that's how you say uh, their their website. They have like their, it's a uh, action figure heavy uh, website. Uh-huh. And so they, uh, so with, um. So uh, th they recently had an interview with Ryan Flynn, who is uh, part of the Super Seven, and I think he's like the oh gosh, I'm already forgetting uh, what he is. He's like one of the top people. Uh, I, I don't want to say his actual title and then get it wrong, <laughs> especially now that we're live. <laughs> and um, endangered, endangered dog. I wanted to let us know that he loves a uh, metalhead. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, that's awesome. Uh, Me too. Right. So. Uh, they had a pretty lengthy like podcast with him, and he was talking about everything that's going on with Super Seven, basically from uh, from like the begin like you know from like uh, Thundercats, uh, uh, Disney, and of course he had to put in there Ninja Turtles because what we're going to be talking about. Uh -huh. uh, cool. Definitely check out that YouTube video. He has a lot of cool information, but we're going to give you some of the highlights uh, that that he talked about. Uh, so the first thing is with Super Seven Wave One, the figures that you remember. I have the Raphael. Uh huh. Uh, so the, those first wave of figures, they're really hard to find now, and basically the reason why is like after they sold them, like not many people wanted to take the chance on them because they didn't know who exactly Super Seven was. Okay. They know what the, know what these figures are, and then when they released. The figures, people are like, oh my gosh, I want these figures. Especially, like, when websites started to, like, you know, do toy reviews on them. Like, our, we did a toy review on Baxter. Uh-huh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And then everyone was like, oh my gosh, I really want these figures. And But they were, they, they were already sold out. Oh, uh, okay. So, what they said was they are going to do a... So, did they ever make other turtles than Raphael? Uh, well, uh, the other turtles haven't been released. The only turtle that has been released is Raphael. Uh -huh. And then Wave 1 also included Raphael, Baxter Stockman, uh, the Foot Ninja, the Foot Soldier, and uh, Splinter. Do you have all of them? Uh, well, the only one, I only got uh, the San Diego Comic Con, Baxter, and Raphael. Okay. I didn't get, I didn't get the... Uh, other two, uh, mainly uh, because of like I mean they are kind of pricey. They are for like forty five dollars each, uh -huh. and so are you sure it's because not because uh, you don't like a Splinter? <laughs> <laughs> a part of it is because I don't like Splinter. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that is definitely a, a big part of it. It's because I don't like Splinter. But <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, well, uh, so a lot of people who missed out on Wave 1, especially a lot of people didn't know about Wave 1, what they're... So but basically what he said, he's... They're trying to find a way to re-release Wave 1, and he wants to do it where the re-release is going to have something a little different. Oh. So, like, instead of, like, so, like, the weapons, like, that, like, the, tur like, they came with, like, Raphael, his weapons are brown. The, um, the, the Raphael, the Wave 2 Raphael, his weapons might be, like, tan. Uh -huh. Something, something minimal, and... Uh, and, um, so that way that, that people who, that way that people who didn't get it before can actually get, like, the, can get the, um, can get the figures and without little, with very little change. And with the small change, it's not going to make it like the people who already got the figures felt like they missed out on. And uh, it's almost kind of like, it's almost kind of like, yeah, when a comic book has like a second printing and they just kind of change the cover a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> like it's kind of in that, or, or like, you know, in a, a, a comic book, they'll have like the words like, you know, second print or something like that. Yeah. Just so it's just for people who want it. And like, so that way the people who got it before, they still have that collectability yes, about yeah. it. See, he's encouraging you to get a splinter. He's a <laughs> come on a splinter. <laughs> come on, no splinters. <laughs> Oh, he says that Metalhead is supposed to be bigger. Uh, yeah, because like well, over there, the uh, Metalhead, uh, the the Metalhead figure that we have like on our um, on our picture is like uh, kind of small. Oh, okay. And he's but supposed to be like just taller. Yeah, taller. Um, but yeah, so that that's basically what's going on. So if you guys missed Wave One, uh, just keep in new, just keep up with Super Seven. There's gonna be uh, there's chance like they're talking about already re-releasing Wave One, which is good because you know. A lot of people like missed out on it, and obviously, you don't want to pay those like eBay prices because those are like astronomical. Oh, okay. yeah, exactly. Uh, the other one is actually uh, someone we're going to talk about a figure that we actually have a picture of right here, and that is April. Uh, he was talking about how they're going to be doing a redesign on April. Like, so this picture that we have, this is like the original picture. Uh, -huh. uh, I don't, I don't, they don't actually have, like, he never, they never actually have, like, a release of, like, what the, the figure is actually going to look like. Uh, -huh. uh, but a lot of people didn't like the design, um. The face is, like, um, not the best. Right, exactly. And he was explaining that, so Brian was explaining that, you know, hey, we're trying to do, we're trying to get it to, like, the, the close to the original figures, but... Then he he's taken like the he's taken like the consumer feedback um and like you know they're just seeing that like they're just not liking how it looks uh -huh. and so they're gonna be doing this a redesign to make her just a lot better looking. Uh, I never pay attention. Does April has that green line in the original? Design? No, no, that no in the original figure she had it, but not in the not in the show. Uh -huh. And also, don't forget with a Super Seven, these figures—they're supposed to look like the action figures. They're not supposed to look like the show. Uh huh. So, because these were what the original action figures actually looked like. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, that—that's that's why like some of the characters like they look off, and it's and like he explained like, uh, actually he explained that you know he didn't actually watch Ninja Turtles. He was too old for uh, the show. Really? Yeah, and, but he collected the action figures. So, like, that's why, like, he had, like, no desire to go. And also with that's NECA. That's so interesting. So, yeah. uh, he's the, uh, like, the CEO? Well, like, like, like I think he's, like, I, I think he's, he's one of the top executives. I don't know his actual title. That's so cool. So, like, and I don't, that's why I don't want to say it. <laughs> Especially when we're live, I can't, you know, I can't edit this now. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I just don't want to make you nervous. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. I'm good. Uh, but yeah, so, so that's what's uh, so that's what's going on with April. The, uh, so if you pre-ordered April, expect a redesign. They they said that they're gonna show like the uh, photos for the people who like, pre-ordered and that kind of stuff. And I'm sure that's gonna be out uh, in the wild once the redesigns like come out. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, the, but this is not the final. This is not the, her final design, and it promised to look better. Uh, the other. 
thing that should be getting Ninja Turtle fans happy is one thing they mentioned was Usagi Ujimbo. They asked him if, like, oh, do you guys have the license for Usagi? And he just flat out said, oh, Usagi's coming. He said it's not in the wave, next wave, but Usagi's going to come. Oh, wow. Wow. So, yeah. So, that's awesome. Uh, Usagi's coming. Um, I so, can't wait to see that. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I have the original Usagi. I have. The, I don't know if I ever showed it to you. But, I think I saw it. Yeah. I have the original Usagi figure. I'm definitely going to get Usagi. If you remember in one of the conventions, we were looking at the uh, yes. classics. Yes. I yes. Saw yes. Usagi. Yes. That's right. That's right. Exactly. And then the last thing I want to talk about. All right. So, obviously, we're... Um, we're talking about everything that's been previously released. You know, there's only been three waves of the Super 7 uh, figures. Uh-huh. Well, October, that's like when there. That's when uh, October is when we're going to finally get Wave 4 announced. And, of course, Wave 4 is, you know, Dantel's going to be in that wave. Because it's the only, Dantel, it's the only Ninja Turtle they haven't released yet. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's the old. That's the only one we know for sure that's coming in wave four. Uh, but uh, it, Put alone. yeah, it's exactly. He's the last. He's actually he's the last one. But so uh, it, they should be announced on October 9th. and uh, so on October 9th, Super Seven is doing a. Spectacular, still at home a con. <laughs> like that's like they're this. It's kind of like they're they're kind of their special, uh, like virtual convention. Oh, okay. Yeah. So and and then we're gonna get a uh, new. We're, that's when they're gonna announce the new wave, and we'll find out what all the the all the figures that's coming for the wave four. We have a new guest. <laughs> yeah, we have. Oh, okay, so Jose says, "Well, I pre-ordered this wave. Would like to see the new designs. I uh, hope. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if the new designs have been finalized yet, but those. But it should be like hope. It should be coming soon. I wouldn't be surprised if they show the new design at this new uh, convention. This new uh, virtual uh, convention." Uh-huh. But yeah, so uh, basically, if you guys are a big fan of Super Seven, or if you're very curious on like what stuff they have, they're gonna have uh, released, uh, you know, definitely check out their their website. Or uh, I, I'm guessing they're gonna have live streams. Uh, like last weekend was Hasbro's um, uh, virtual convention, and I watched a bunch of that. That was like some exciting stuff. So uh, I can't wait to see what Super Seven has to say. And then obviously. After October 9th, we will come back and we'll we'll revisit Super Seven again. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so so some really exciting stuff. Uh, all right, but that's all we got. I'm hoping that one of these companies like release some Halloween action figures. <laughs> oh, like the Ninja Turtle Halloween action figures? Yes. I would love. Oh my gosh, if uh, I would love if someone like re-released those Halloween you know how much I love the Halloween action figures yes, and I mean yes. you know I have you know I have all of them and like well I have all like Ninja Turtles they made another one in the original set I never got those but one of them was like April Bride of Frankenstein I, I wish I wish like I saw that when I was a kid but I loved I loved like I had the original ones where they glue in the dark uh, Don was a Raphael was a vampire Raphael was a mummy Leo was a were- werewolf and Mikey was a uh, Frankenstein Oh, that would be very cool. Yeah, Especially yeah. Especially this year that Halloween is sabotage. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, if Super 7, if you're listening to us, you know, please, thank you for listening to us. <laughs> <laughs> and we're live now. <laughs> but if you are listening to us, uh, you know, be sure to, you know, include, a, you know, be, be sure to include a, a, the uh, the Halloween action, the Ninja Turtle action figures. I will totally rebuy all of those. <laughs> all right. All right. So that's all. That's everything we have to say about... Uh, Super 7, the next thing I want to talk about is something I actually completely missed last week. What is this? What is this? Exactly. All is right. It a snail or what? <laughs> it is a hermit crab. Oh, and his name is Herman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what we are looking at is the miniature design for IDW Games' uh, latest figure that they announced that's coming to the Mutanimals expansion pack, which is Herman. The hermit crab. Oh, hermit crab. Yeah. So. Oh, it's it's a it's a cool name. Yeah, yeah. Um. So this character is coming to the uh, IDW Games uh, uh board game. Uh, they actually announced it like two weeks ago. I just forgot. 
to mention the last podcast. <laughs> so now I'll mention it here. Um, Husband, this is my next favorite character. Yeah. So so few things about Herman. Uh, Herman is the IDW original character. Uh-huh. Uh, he's like uh, there's no like. Uh, there's no animation of him in any the, the other series. Like, they, they created him in IDW. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, that's... He's really... a bad guy? No, he's a good guy, actually. He's part of the Mutanimals team. Like, you know, with uh-huh. uh, like with Old Hob and Slash and uh, th- those characters. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, th- and, like, basically, he's a hermit crab. And instead of a shell, he has a dumpster on his back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so... I actually have had the opportunity to actually play as this character because you know I've been playing playtesting. Oh, cool! Yeah, oh, uh, he's actually really. How do you like it? Actually, I like it a lot. Um, so one thing about this character is his movement is very like slow. Like he only moves like two spaces. <laughs> <laughs> like when whenever you get a skateboard, you get you only move like two spaces. So he doesn't move like uh far. But he has some really powerful attack cards, and like, uh, like he probably throws some, uh, some stuff. No, he doesn't throw some stuff. He has like you know he has guns and that kind of stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, no, the one thing what you can do with him is, uh, so in the game when you're jumping from a roof and if you land on a dumpster, you can actually like you don't have to take damage if you land on a dumpster. So you can actually have Herman. Um, stand at the edge of a building, and while you can have your other uh, have another character like just leap off the building, and then don't, they don't have to worry about like finding a ladder or like taking the damage for. Um, so they jump on the. Yeah, yeah. Basically, they jump on him because you uh-huh. treat him as a dumpster. The other Poor cool. Herman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the other cool thing about Herman is that he. Uh... Oh gosh, I'm already forgetting. Well, wait, sorry. See, this is the thing that happens when we're live. I, I, he, he, I can't edit out my my lost my lost train of thought. <laughs> All right. So the other cool thing about Herman is that there's a there's a uh, mode you can go to when you get hit in the game, and if you like, if if a person attacks you um, and you take damage, it's called the it's called going to defensive, and you can change your action dice into uh, shells. To, so you can add more block dice uh-huh. uh, to your pool. And, well, when you go on a defensive with Herman, uh, he actually uh, goes in there with the range attack. So he's the only character that does it. Because um, if you go on a defensive with anyone um, else, like it's shell. Even if that person's dice doesn't have like a, just a plain shell card, it has to be a plain shell. Uh-huh. But when you go on defensive with Herman... You go into the shell with the with the ninja star, which is like a range attack. So that means that when you go on defensive, you actually still have an attack uh, to go with it. And especially like, especially if you if you roll something and like you get like all like skateboards or something like that, uh-huh. um, and you're like, oh man, I really need to attack. If someone if you if a bad guy attacks you, you can go and like use that opportunity to actually. Uh, change those um, those movement into attack uh, options. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, Herman. Um, if you guys play the IDW game, uh, the uh, the Venture System, he's a really fun character. You guys will love him a lot. Uh, and yeah, uh, that's pretty much all we got. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't play the game much. I've been playing. No, the game. but I I paint this uh, figure so. <laughs> yes. Uh, they're yeah. interesting for me. Yeah, exactly. All right, so uh, speaking of IDW, uh, w- um, so we talked about this a few months ago, and it, it is the last run in. You know, it was originally supposed to come out in August, uh-huh. and uh, this is like, you know, the, the last project that uh, that Eastman and Layard like, did together. They're finally putting it out, and uh, like, you know, they're doing some updates to it and everything. It was supposed to come out in August. Uh, because of COVID-19, it got delayed. Uh, well, the good news is, is that they already started printing issue one. So... Oh, I'm well, very curious, like, how this comic will be. <laughs> yeah, I'm re- I mean, I'm really curious how this comic will be, too. I'm, I'm really... It, it's, I've, 
I believe, uh, don't quote me on this, uh, but I believe it's supposed to be a five issue uh, series. I think it's only supposed to be five issues. Do you know anything about this story? Uh, okay, the only thing I know about the story is that uh, there's only one, it's, it's in the future. Like, you know, so like however many years in the future, there's only one turtle, but we don't know which turtle it is. So out of the four turtles, only one of them survived. I know, I know, exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a darker story. It's a, it's, it, it, um, it's a darker story, but, like, we don't know which turtle that is, and that's why, the, that's why this turtle, he has, like, all four of the weapons. I have a feeling he's a, he's a kind of mutation of, like, the four of them. You think he's a... I don't know, he could be. We'll find out. We'll find There's out. There's no way they get rid of the other turtle. Well... <laughs> <laughs> this and is, he has all the weapons. So. This is supposed to represent the final story for the franchise. <laughs> <laughs> There's no final story for the franchise. There will never be a final story for the franchise. <laughs> the even, franchise is gonna live on like well past them all of us. Exactly. <laughs> but see when we go to the superhero movies and let yeah. them like die, and, yeah. <laughs> and then I tell you, don't worry, he come back. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, you're you're absolutely right about that. But yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, it is, but the last one has, is, uh, printing, so that means it is still on schedule to be released on October 28th of this year. Uh -huh. So, uh, that's the good news about that, like, you know, because a lot of people were bummed it was delayed, and, like, you know, it's, that's it's on its way. not so far. No, 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 to be honest, it's not too far, it's, like, about, about, almost, like, it's almost, like, two months, uh, or no, it's a month away, I'm sorry. We're already at the end of, uh, September. Yes, Holy. it's just one month. Yes, exactly, one month away. All right, and the last thing I want to talk about, uh, we're going to talk about, and it is still uh, Ninja Turtles. And uh, that is IDW has announced uh, this. It is a reprinting of a, a, of, it's a Ninja Turtles reprint comic. Uh -huh. And it's actually kind of cool, but, and I, I like this concept. So this is going to be released uh, tomorrow, actually. And the first one is uh, The Best of Raphael. And basically, uh, it's it's six dollars, but it's a hundred pages. A hundred pages for pages. yeah, a hundred pages, yeah. But they're reprints of stories, so it's going to be like just a, a collection of uh, classic uh, turtles. They're in colors. Uh, well, yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it's going to be. Well, I don't know if the, uh, they're all going to be in colors because like like if like uh, if they do some of the past stories like the Mirage stuff, that might be in black and white. Uh -huh. But they're basically they're taking some of the past stories, like some of the best moments, and like putting those those comics like together. And it's gonna be like it's not just gonna be from IDW. It's gonna be for like IDW Mirage, maybe even some Archie in there. Who knows? Maybe the uh, you know IDW's done the image um, uh, stuff uh, reprint, so we might get some of that in there too. Oh, cool! Yeah, I think so I probably have to order one of these for me just. Yeah. That I can feel that I can fold it. <laughs> I can flip the pages. You can flip the pages and fold it and everything so that, and that someone doesn't get mad at you? Yes. Practice designing. Turtles. Yeah. But, but yeah, it, it's going to be, it's something like uh, pretty cool looking. Uh, like, I'm um, really excited for it. Um, like, I don't, this is something like, I'll probably go, personally, I'll probably get digitally. Uh, but like, it's a good way to get reprints. It's a good way to get people who are like, you know, I'm really interested in Ninja Turtles, but I don't know what to read. Yeah. Because I get that a lot. And, like, especially, like, for people, like, it's hard. It's hard for, like, to get to people be like, okay, read this. But then, like, but then you're committing them to read into a story, into a uh, thing. Mm -hmm. And so, at least this way, you're getting them to actually read like like you know like some like the best snippets of the person and like and so if they read something they're like you know i really want to know more about this they can go and like uh find especially like this day where uh comics are like digital are digital and like um and everything like it's not that hard to go track down uh some of these past issues yes right so that is everything uh we have the news uh so um yeah uh thank you um thank you for everyone who joined us in watching this uh with us we really uh, we really appreciate it um this time the news was definitely more fun with 
<laughs> people joining us. Yes, yes. The news is definitely more more fun uh, with people uh, joining us. Exactly. Uh, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, and um, be sure to look out on Thursday. Uh, we will be releasing the full podcast uh, for you guys uh, to listen to, and you guys can uh, you know hear this whole part again. <laughs> Plus uh, our episode discussion, or you can just skip to the episode discussion since you already hear, heard us talk here. But uh, thanks for everyone joining us. Uh, we will be back. We're going to do this every uh, Tuesday. Yes. Yes, every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. All right. Till next time, guys. See ya. Thank you. Bye.